The hip joint is one of the most important joints within the body. It plays a major role in bearing the weight of your entire body and provides a wide range of motion, including abduction, adduction, flexion, extension, and circumduction. The hip joint itself is what is known as a ball and socket joint, where the pelvic bone and femur come together. This joint is supported and stabilized by various muscles and carries a high density of arteries and veins. Due to the physical makeup of the hip joint, it is extremely common for bone fractures to occur if the force applied is greater than the force at which the bone can sustain. Fractures can occur due to trauma such as falling or due to bone weakening diseases such as osteoporosis. Almost 30,000 Canadians experience a hip fracture each year. Of that 30,000, 70 to 90% is known to be caused by osteoporosis. Since the hip contains a high blood supply, early diagnosis and treatment are essential to prevent the death of bone tissue and to maintain overall health. Following a diagnosis based on an x-ray, hip fractures are usually treated with surgery through either replacing the head or neck of the femur or in more serious cases through total hip replacement. The risk of hip fracture increases dramatically with age and is more prevalent in women over 65. Research has shown that one in six Caucasian women will have a hip fracture in their lifetime. Several risk factors such as cigarette smoking, caffeine intake, sedatives and inactivity can lead to a reduction in bone mass and increase your likelihood of developing a hip fracture. According to a study by Cummings et al, a history of hyperthyroidism, benzodiazepines or anticonvulsant drugs may also contribute to hip fractures. There are several ways to reduce your risk of hip fractures, especially if you are part of an at-risk group. Calcium plays a major role within the body, including strengthening your bones. By reducing calcium intake in your diet, your body begins to take it from your bones, making them weaker. An effective strategy to help increase your bone density is taking vitamin D and calcium supplements. When vitamin D is ingested, the body converts it into a hormone called calcitriol, which is responsible for absorbing calcium from your diet. In conclusion, hip fractures are a complex topic and we have only scratched the surface of what there is to learn. Thank you for listening and we hope that this video was informative.